Hi, welcome to Dreadfeather International. I hope you are enjoying your summer because this happens to be summer with us in the UK. And you're going to be hearing sounds sometimes of flies trying to get around us. They make me creepy. Anyway, my name is Joy Fido and today I am coming to chat with you about exciting things. Exciting because, um, you know me, whenever an idea hits me, I have to share them with you. And today is one of those days I've got some really exciting ideas I want to share with you. So welcome on board. Okay, so what are we going to be talking about today? It's a topic that I think will really benefit us. And you know when I say us, I mean me too because... I try to listen to my own advice. Uh, people might say, listen to your own advice. Yes, because when the ideas hit me, there are things that I need to work on as well. So what does Joyfido International stand for? It's all about inspiring you to success. It's about guiding us to understand these intricacies in life that we really don't think about. And then what happens? We get overwhelmed by the things happening around us. And these are the things that cause us so much confusion in life. So, my idea with Joyfido International is to help us with tools that give us more in life. Tools that help us become more than basic. Because basic is something that most of us end up becoming. And you know why we know that? Because apparently, did they say 10% or 2% of the population are the richest ones, while the rest of us are just ordinary. If we were doing so well, we would not be basic, we would not be ordinary. And these are the things that's causing us the problems. We don't know the things we don't know. And you know what they say, what you don't know is bigger than you. So, in my quest in life, this is one of the things I really want to find out about. What are those things that are that are keeping us down? What are those things that are making us ordinary? What are those things that we don't know about that's really what's causing the problems we have? Because you know what they say, knowledge is power. If you know it and you do it, you might shift something in your life. You might change something. And so change is where I'm coming from. What can we do to change? the scenario we're in or the, or the boring lifestyle that we tend to find ourselves in. So the title today says Foresight, um, Vision, and then Imagination. These are some of the things that we're struggling with. So Foresight, Insight, Vision, Imagination. But three major things I like to put them under. Vision. Vision is that ability to see beyond now, to look into the future. And so you hear people when, when they start a business, people say, what's your vision for your business? It's your ability to look into the future and start imagining what could possibly happen. And so from vision, we have imagination. So we're thinking, how is this going to happen? And, you know, think of a, 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 a TV channel where you're, you're, you're seeing images go in front of you constantly. That's your vision. And you can create vision through imagination. So your imagination, you're thinking it through. You're imagining, what if I put this in place of that? The vision starts to appear. And so you can vividly feel it, touch it, some people say smell it. So if you were thinking of a perfume and in your vision you've, you've seen that perfume in your mind's eye, you can actually smell it. But it's not happening right now, but you can smell what it should smell like. So vision, imagination, and foresight. Foresight again is about seeing into the future. You're not seeing now, but you're seeing in the future. And I tell you why this is so important and, and exciting. Now, 
you know the last video i think i showed you a book this ability i can't remember the book right now but it's about i think the power to to get wealth or it will come to me so in that book it says if you can visualize and see into the future what you find is now does not really matter because most of us are in that scenario where what we are seeing now we're not happy with and so we feel uncomfortable we feel unhappy we are upset we look at our now you know most times i've said a few times so in our video when we did the 40 day journey and it was like your bank account does not determine who you are you know your exam results is not who you are so what this book is also saying is if you can if you can forget this physical things you're seeing now and look deep into yourself you're gonna find that the person in you has a bigger vision if you can visualize that person that you, this is what you think should happen and you can imagine it and create those images you're gonna find that there is so much more to you and the reality is you can bring that thing in the vision into reality you can bring it to life and when you bring it to life now the scenario you find yourself in today will then be a thing of the past and so this is where most of us need to move away from eh? about just sitting in this today and seeing what is happening around us today and not looking into this future vision or imagination and creating that thing which is possible you remember that video I also mentioned about how we have this blank canvas called mind or if you're into if you've ever known about farming you you see this huge endless acres of farmland and you have that ability to plant into it whatever crop you're thinking about so the same thing with this blank canvas as an artist and whatever you imagine in your head is what you can scribble on that blank canvas so that's the thing that comes out of vision and foresight and imagination what you are able to think about and imagine you can actually transpose that into your real life right now so that's the power i want us to share today that power of using those those unique things about life to create that which you are dreaming about and thinking about and you know that saying that be careful what you think about you just might have it or become it that's that power of imagination and visualization and foresight so this is a this is a special gift that all of us have you know when we're born we were born with it and you find that children in particular they have the highest level of imagination because you see them sit with themselves and they play with themselves and then they create this friend in in their image and they and they say to you i'm chatting with my imaginary friend and so they can sit there and and create a um, mother and father and a family and they're just sitting by themselves and they're playing that is that power that we have as kids but i tell you where the problem starts as we start to grow old slowly slowly society starts to suck that away from us but why do they do that because man has this natural tendency to control that's just who we are as human beings so we want to control our environment and we want to control everything that's happening around us so you know what we tend to do we want everybody to look the same everybody to be the same everybody to start behaving the same way and so when this starts to happen we start to lose our uniqueness we start to lose that power of visualization that's in us and, and why does this happen because society suddenly starts saying this is normal and this is abnormal and so we're beginning to live this life of i don't want to be abnormal here i want to be normal when you're going to school and they say to you this is the school uniform this is the color code 
everybody should wear gray and white what happens gray and white becomes the norm becomes the uniform and so the minute you don't wear gray and white you are the abnormal person in that area and so suddenly you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb and be the one that stood out differently from the crowd of normal and so what's happening normal is what is beginning to destroy your ability to visualize your ability to have imagination because now when you finish your university or secondary school or whatever education you've taken it is expected that normally you should go and apply for jobs normal and so when you apply for jobs normal you get to work and then this is what you should do at work normal I arrive 9 a.m and finish 5 p.m and you start hearing of some workplaces where they say I've heard people say, you know, when they started the job, they were so excited. They want to just do, you know, get it on, get on with it and finish that job that day. And then your colleagues start telling you, no, the normal things here is you just, you're paid by the hour. You're not paid for completing the job. And that's why you see most places of work, they would drag on this job forever because you want to keep coming back to do that job tomorrow so that you'll be paid by the hour. And I'll tell you an example, it was quite interesting when my daughter was doing her beauty course and they were teaching them eyelash extensions. And this course was dragged for one whole year. And when I looked at the curriculum, this is something that could have been finished in tops two weeks if it was consistent, or let's say one month. You know, just like when I train people here in water breeding and we have these trainings, um, our foundation course, and you could do this in 12 weeks. But of course, um, each week you come, which is one day a week, we teach you one new thing. And what we then say to people is you go home, you practice what you've been taught, and then you come back, if there are any questions, I will see your work and I will see where you're not right and I'll guide you to get it better. But of course, thereafter, when the whole course is done, you'll be doing a lot of practice and achieving results and practice and achieving results. And just like life, it will carry on from there. You know what happens? Some people think, but, but that course is too short. The, the, the timing is too short. Why am I paying this amount of money for such a short period? And so they'll be happier if I dragged it on for like two years. And each day you come and I tell you, do one strand of braid or two lines of cornrows and you can go and then you come another another month and you do another strand of braid. You know, so that's what happens. They kill your ability to think. Because now you're doing normal job. Your normality is you come, you sit down, you play around with the computer a little bit and then tomorrow you come again, you do the same thing. And, and I was having this chat with my daughter and she said, whenever her boss is not around, she can work really well. But when the boss is around, she's, she's, she's never happy with whatever you do. And I explained to her, I said, listen, it is about the humanness in us. Now, the way, the things you are seeing in your head of your ability to do that thing is not what your boss is seeing in her head. And so whenever you want to be creative and do what you think you can do, and she's not around, you are achieving them. But the minute she's around, she said, no, that your creativity, I'm not happy with that. This is how I want it to be. So creativity in you disappears because you are following the norm. The norm here is this is how it should be done. Normality. Now, this is where I have a problem with normality. And this is where society is destroying most of us due to normality. Normality stops us from thinking, so we cannot think because we have to follow the norm. Normality takes the creativity out of us. And I remember a scenario where my daughter, she was studying arts as well, and every time she's done her creative art, the teacher has issues with it. This wasn't there, this should have been there. And she's so frustrated, I said to her, listen, all you have to do is try your best and pass this course. That's what it is. Because in real life out there, 
whatever creativity in you whatever you know how to do your mind has given you an image a picture do it this way that's what you're gonna do and when you look at all the great artists of the world there was no norm nobody stood out there and said this is how it should be done and that's a question that most people who can think ask who created norm who said this is the normal way things have to be done because you see in the bid for all of us to look the same and be normal we've ended up with a boring world the world has become so lame that people can't think anymore and let me explain something to you if you want to sell something right now you want to be able to you, you want to run your business and you say okay i want to be able to do this and that and then you look around you what are similar businesses that do that thing once you've seen the businesses that do what you're doing and you then come and join that business world and repeat the same thing those businesses are doing i'd like to hear from you if you are able to sell anything you know why because people have seen that already they've seen this let's say it was coffee they've seen you serve this coffee with the same kind of uh, plastic cup and the same amount of milk and and you're repeating the exact same thing the shop the coffee shop next door is doing and the co coffee shop next this other side is doing and then you come and you join and you do the exact same thing what do you think is going to happen to the buyers when they come what will make them want to come to your shop instead of the other shop that's norm sticking with the norm so what you want to do is if you want to create coffee what you have to do now is create yours to be different from the other two so that when people come they go the reason i'm choosing you is because your coffee serves goat milk for instance or uh, um uh, what's the other milk that's soya milk or or uh, what other milk can i think of there's so many different types of milk is no longer cow's milk so or you say i only work with tree based protein so i'm not trying to offer people animal based protein so you differentiate yourself from other people and the same thing applies with image as well you know you've seen me most times i come here and i wear maybe an um blonde hair and sometimes i wear my braided wig in different color and if i was coming here every day looking the same which is norm this is how she ought to look that's normal you get bored with me that's what life is if you're in a crowd and everybody is wearing black hair what do you think is going to make somebody pick you out of that crowd of everybody wearing black hair now try going into that crowd with blonde hair and see if you'll not be the one that will be picked out so we are talking about us being able to stand up and become what we can imagine and vision and visualize that's what we're talking about we're not talking about you sitting there and repeating what somebody else has done word on word and expect to be picked out because when you look at businesses that are succeeding right now in life they are unique creative businesses businesses that that do something that other people haven't done that's what the universe is expecting from us and this is when you add value to life because what's happening is everything we are living on now are things that other people created you know we talked about in the other video how we started by walking on food just walking from place to place and then someone invented cars and another person invented aeroplane and then the shape and you know so people have been creating new things and then we come and meet the old things that people created and we just want to sit there and not move universe does not like that it wants us to add new things into it so the so the message here is we have to move away from normal we've gone past the basic stages of where they're molding us which 
I can say mold means going through primary school, secondary school, university. Once you've done with all of that, the next stages of your life should be abnormal, should be creative, should be unique, should be different. That's a big message. Because if you don't work on your imagination, if you don't work on your creativity, if you don't work on your foresight, your vision, you're going to end up being sucked up by the society we live in. Remember, I keep referring back to this same movie, The Matrix, or um, uh, Doctor Strange. These people, again, is somebody's creativity that creates these movies, but you can connect with where they're coming from. Normal is everybody looking the same. And normal destroys creativity. Normal destroys societies. Because in as much as people will say to you, yes, but you have to stick to the rules, you have to stick to the law, you have to stick to the regulations. Stick to all of that and watch yourself be destroyed. It doesn't help you. I'm not saying go against the law and go and kill someone or go and hurt somebody or go and break somebody's house. No, these are, these are extremes. I'm talking about the creativity of your imagination. The creativity of setting up a business that stands out from the crowd. The creativity of standing out and being different. I mean, years ago, and, and I, I remember telling my daughter this, you know, when, when you live in the Western world generally, naturally is not a black based society. And so you come as a black person, you want to fit into crowds. And suddenly you see yourself as the only black person because you went to an event and everybody else is white and you are black and suddenly you want to feel odd. I say to people, no, you, you actually should stand out. You know why? Because you're different. You should be proud of the fact that you are different in a crowd where everybody is looking the same. And so being different is no longer something you hold on to and give yourself a reason why you should feel it. It should actually be a, a, a tool to hold on to, to exceed, to succeed, to become better. Because when you stand out there and you look different and you act different and suddenly there's something about you that stands out, you are different. Nobody will forget you in that crowd. And so it's about you remembering to start being more and more creative. The Bible said it very clearly. Go ye and multiply my world. Now, this is what it is. We look at nature. We see so much in nature. I, I see so much in nature. And then, all we have to do as humans is to add value to nature. That's what that statement was about. Go ye and multiply. Multiply the things I've given you. And it's a big issue like being an African, it hurts. You know why? Because nature has given us so much. But that lack of knowledge that we tend to have as Africans and we don't want to learn. Typically, if, we, if you want to share knowledge with us and you say, come and pay X amount to me, I will give you that knowledge. We will have issues with that. You know why we think, but if I give you my money, you're going to get rich. And so I have issues with that. But I'm not thinking, but you're going to give me something. Something that will actually empower me to think. So I can create something different. That's what my training here is about. I train you to own your own imagination. Create amazing hairstyles. Play with hair extensions in different forms. Be as creative and imaginative as you can be. Have the power to create the uniqueness of who you are. No, what people see is... I'm going to give her money and she's going to get rich. And I'm asking myself, but if you give me money, I might not give you anything in return. And over the years, people I have trained have proved that the unique thing I empower them with, the, the foresight that I give them, the imagination that I em empower them with, because now I start saying to them, you know, you can play around with these colors. You know, you can play around with this length. You know, you can design this, uh, you know, section in, in unique forms. All of these things are things you were not thinking about before you came to me. And so I'm guiding you to open your thinking capability. And so that's what you paid for. 
and I'm guiding you on the action of how to design that hair. That's what you paid for. Because when you go home, you can play with this design for as long as you like. That's the power you have got. But typically, we don't see that. All we are seeing is that physical money leaving our hand. And so we have issues with that. And that's why for us, especially in Africa, we have so much that nature has given us. The oil that we have no clue how to drill and how to refine into various things. So you see, we people come, they drill our oil away and then they go and refine it and then they sell it back to us. You see things like shea butter, it's all over the place. And then people come, they take it away and they put a little hint in the cream and they package it so beautifully and they sell it back to us with a hint of scent and perfume and then we pay top money for it. And the same thing with our clothes. You look at the, what I'm wearing now. This is beautifully made from home. My sister made it for me as my birthday present. And we don't think this far. And when we do, what happens is we now, we now have issues with it. We're not proud of it because we made it. Somebody else should have made it. Then we can buy it of them. So this is a question of using our imagination. Can we start imagining things and create them and be proud of our creativity? It is something we all have. But we've allowed society to stop us from being creative. And watch people around you. Anybody that lacks imagination and lacks creativity and lacks the power of visualization, they don't go far in life. Because what happens is we're just, you're sitting down and waiting for someone to, to give you the instruction on what to do. And that's why people like that most times end up working for other people. And there's a saying that if you don't have your dream and your passion to follow in life, what you actually end up doing is helping somebody else achieve their dream and their passion. Do you see how it works? It works or it makes sense because when you're working for someone, you have to follow instructions. So you're basically following the rules on how they can achieve their result. That's what's happening here. But if you had your passion, if you had your dream, you are going to be able to sit on your own and visualize it and know the next steps to follow. Okay, so today I'm thinking I'm going to do this. And I'll give you an example. Um, we're talking about numb. So your numb now, your normal now, is you wake up at um, 8 o'clock in the morning because your work is at uh, 10 o'clock and you have to take a shower and maybe get ready and you take the transport and you get to work at 10. Okay, and you work, 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 and you close at five, and then you take the train or your car, whatever, you get back home. So that's normal. Now let's change that. Let's say I'm gonna do abnormal. I'll wake up at 5 a.m. and I'll get myself all dressed up because I run my own business. And I'm going to run down to wherever it is I have meetings with or if I have to sit on the computer and set up things, programs or website or um, uh, social media, things that will help my business grow and I do all of that. And then I wake up again, let's say I was into fashion and I hit the market and I get some magazines and I'm looking at some designs that other people have done and I'm thinking, what if I change this and I change that? What if I make this color red instead of blue? What if I add a dot of, you know? And so you're, you're running all this commentary in your head, which is visualization and you're creating these images because the mind sees in images. The mind does not see letters apparently and that's why when you read a sentence you create an image to go with that sentence and that's why lots of people for instance if i get someone call me and say they want their hair done i say could you send me an image of that hair because they would just say to me i want cornrows cornrows is a word and i'm thinking 
I have to create that image of that cornrow in my head. And when I create it, I'm thinking that's what that person wants. But with experience, I've understood that not everybody that says cornrow to me mean the cornrow that I have in my head. And so if I say to them, could you send me an image of what that cornrow hairstyle looks like? I would then see physically or image wise what they have in mind. So do you see how this works? And so if you then run this commentary in your head of what you want to create, so you take the steps in your head. Okay, so first I get the fabric and then I get ideas of how I'm going to work with it. And then maybe I get my tailors if you're just a designer. And then I tell them this is how I want it done. And then you see how when you all put it together, you have an image in your head what that dress will look like. And so if you do same thing across board, whatever business ideas you have, you can see yourself creating things because we're creative humans. And you know, I've, I said this again in so many videos, God, God created us in his image. And one of the biggest power he gave us was because we're in his image, we have the ability to do what he did or what he's done being able to create the world in unique forms. There are not two human beings that are the same. Isn't that awesome? That just tells us the kind of God we have. And so if we, you know, you know when people they say, oh, you look like your mom and you look like your dad. And sometimes we behave like our mom or our dad. Oh, do you know what that means? That means you like that person. You could do similar that that person does. So. Isn't that the same with us? If we are like our father who created us, and he is such an awesome creator, creating everything. I look around me sometimes and I go, oh my gosh, our oh God is really great. You look at some plants, how beautiful. How do what this done? So when you have all of this to, to imagine about your creator, why can we not be as creative as he has shown us? being that we are made from him. So, I just want us to be able, and I keep saying us because that includes me. I ask, these words come out of my mouth, but I have to work with them. We need to be as creative as possible. We need to move everything around us from ordinary to extraordinary. We need to go away from normal to abnormal because abnormal is not bad. People made us feel that if you don't stick to normal, you are a bad person. Look at her, she's so abnormal. I love abnormal because whenever I go out, if I have an idea that everybody there is going to be wearing similar outfit, you know what I do? I look for the difference because I don't want to blend in. I mean, the whole idea about life is Somebody, I think, and Harrington, why are we struggling so hard to fit in when we were made to stand out? Do you, do you get it? To stand out because you're unique? Because everything about you is unique. Why didn't you want to be like the other person? And we all do that. We all want to be like, because XYZ dresses this way, I want to dress like her. Um, the other person behaves that way, I want to be like that. And that's what you hear when they say, you know, um, show me your friend and I tell you who you are because we tend to like move in crowds or in tribes you find this is so true you find if a certain tribe gets into this city what they tend to do is they hang around each other and they don't want to blend in with anybody else because you know where we come from this is how we do things and so we want to just stick we don't want any new thing to connect with us but you need to you need to learn new things you need to add this idea to that idea and create a different idea that's what it should be and so when you do that you're introducing something new to the universe and that's what the universe wants from us we need to bring new things to life and you're not going to be able to do that if you continue to be numb if you continue to be like everybody else because everybody else already exists you want to be a different person 
and I know, trust me, when I come here and I do videos and I dress in what idea came to my head, I get people poking at me, why are you wearing green, why are you wearing blue, why are you wearing blonde hair, why are you wearing red hair, why are you wearing... And I just laugh because uh, feel free to question. Because you noticed it. Why? Because it's unique. Because it's different. If I was wearing the same whole black hair you expect on a black woman, you would not notice. I would just blend in. The same thing happens with Instagram. I have Instagram. We have an Instagram page and we post amazing pictures and videos. And this is just something to throw at you. We encourage anybody with skills to, sh we want to share your message. We want to share whatever unique skills you have. If you share it with us on World of Braiding, Instagram at World of Braiding, we will share with the world. Um, people have been asking, how do I get access to that? How do I get messages across to you? Because I want to share my creative braiding skill. I want to share my weave skills. I want We're happy to share any skill. I love skills. That's what I'm here to do, to empower you to use your skills and be as creative as you can be. Don't give me no more. I don't do no more. So that's the big message here. Once you start being creative, the universe supports you. The universe wants you to introduce new things to life. And so that's the big message of this video. I just hope I've been able to... Uh, get the message across so from today you're going to start throwing new things into your world and please remember to let me know what you've done and what has worked you know i like to hear good news i i seriously enjoy good news i don't like bad news bad news don't make don't support us in any form so remember to thumbs up this video if you like it remember to share it with your friends we want to move people away from basic to extra basic extraordinary so share it with people so we start growing i want all of us to grow we all grow life becomes good we want you to subscribe because there's so much more coming your way and remember we're on instagram at world of braiding joy fido on facebook and on instagram i mean on facebook we also have world of braiding so i look forward to seeing you in the next video and god bless you